Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to the video. Now this super dirty truck that is sitting next to me today is a 2018 Ford F-150 that is used as a work truck. And as you guys can see, it's an absolute mess. Okay, so taking a look around this F-150, and it doesn't take long to see why this truck has earned the disaster detail status as every inch of it is covered in mud from the running boards to the carpeted wheel wells. This is easily one of the dirtiest trucks I've seen for quite a while. Even the underside is muddy too, but moving inside now and it only gets worse is there is everything in here from dog hair to nasty grime and old moldy food. But besides that, and some of the seats have been hammered with stains and all kinds of unknown grime. But just before we dive into this disaster work truck, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss out on a future video and consider becoming a channel member too for exclusive behind the scenes and sneak peeks of new videos. Okay guys, well you have seen just how dirty this truck is, so you know the transformation is going to be epic on this one. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, so getting started on the truck now, and as you guys can imagine, the pressure washer is going to get a good workout today, as there is no way I'm giving this truck back to the owner with even a speck of dirt on it, especially on the underside. But besides the incredible transformation this truck makes, be sure to stick around until the end of the video to catch the owner's reaction. That's not always something I'm able to film for you guys, and this is one you don't want to miss. Now, you maybe can't quite tell yet, but on the passenger side of this truck here, there's a whole bunch of scratches in the paint. And unfortunately, when the owner dropped it off, he was telling me that he hit the ditch just a couple of days ago and the truck took a fair bit of damage on this side, but also the windshield is cracked in a few spots. And so is the driver's side window where his head smashed into it. So luckily he was okay, but the truck didn't fare so well. So if you notice the damage later on in the video, that's where it's from. And thankfully, the insurance company will be covering the roughly $11,000 in repairs. All right, now getting started on spraying the box out here, and one important thing to note is that I always start by carefully running the pressure washer hose in between the box and the cab, so that way it stays stable and isn't sliding up and down the paint on the side of the truck, causing scratches.
Now as I continue to spray out the wheel well here, you'll notice I'm taking my time and really making sure to get in close and spray off everything I can see from this vantage point, including the frame and the leaf springs. And then once I've got the rest of the truck sprayed off, I'll then focus more on the underside as the final step of the pre-wash rinse. Now, if you happen to be a fan of my Clean With Me series that I do over on the second channel, The Detail Geek 2, well, you'll be happy to know that there will be a Clean With Me episode of this detail a little bit down the road, and I'm going to do things a little different with that video, so be sure to check it out when it gets posted. All right, so starting on the underside now, and I'll first use the undercarriage sprayer to hopefully get the majority of the dirt and mud off. And once I've gone over things a few times, I'll switch back to my regular 40 degree tip as I can then be far more controlled and I'm able to spray at different angles to get any remaining dirt off. And since there's always a ton of people asking about my setup here, I figured I'd let you know that I have the link to the undercarriage washer down in the description for you if you're interested. And then as for my pressure washer wand and the extension wand that I use here, I got those from Princess Auto here in Canada. Now getting some wheel and tire cleaner sprayed on these dirty wheels, I'll then grab my Detail Geek Contour Tire Brush to agitate and we'll also use my soft wheel brush for the rim face as well. 
And if you've been wondering where you can get either of these brushes, well, they are available on my website at detailgeekautocare.com where worldwide shipping is available. Okay, so here's the mess this truck left on my garage floor, and yes, if you're wondering, there will be a garage cleanup video coming soon on the second channel, but after getting that cleaned up, I'll turn to these super dirty floor mats, and we'll first start by spraying them off with the pressure washer to get all the dirt and debris removed, and then using some all-purpose cleaner diluted about 4 to 1, I'll hit them with my medium green Detail Geek drill brush to finish them off, and then just rinse them off after. And typically that's all I do with rubber floor mats, unless they're really worn down and still look awful after they're clean, then I would typically use some CarPro Pearl to revive them. Okay, moving to the interior now, and the first step here is to get all the front seats removed as a fair bit of the mess in here is hiding underneath them. And with them out now, we can take a closer look at all the treasure and then get the vacuum plugged in and get started on sucking it all up. Now the before and after I just showed you should highlight just how much of a visual impact vacuuming alone can have in a vehicle. So rather than letting it build up, it's always better to just take a few minutes every month or so and get it vacuumed. 
and if you happen to have pet hair in your vehicle like this truck does, the Lily Rush is a fantastic tool to have as it will easily pull any trapped hairs from the carpet as you'll see in just a moment. So if any of you out there struggle with pet hair in your vehicle or at home, I've got the Lily Brushes available on my website at detailgeekautocare.com. Starting on the carpet underneath the driver's seat here and since I know there's lots of you out there who love finding out about the quality of carpet in vehicles, I won't leave you disappointed. So surprisingly the carpet in this F-150 is actually pretty good quality. It's definitely on the higher end of mid-grade and as you can probably tell I'm able to get nearly every bit of loose dirt and debris sucked out of here with relative ease. All right, so getting started on these dirty seats now, and you'll notice I'm opting to use my Detail Geek medium green drill brush instead of the soft white one today. And that's simply because all of the carpet and seats in this truck are very visibly dirty, and it's likely that I'll need a bit more agitating ability to break through the stains. And starting on extracting now, and I can see that most of the dirt and grime is getting pulled out, but for any spots that don't look perfect after a few passes, I will go ahead and repeat the entire process until they do.
Moving to the top portion of the center console, which was one of the dirtiest spots in here, and whenever I see upholstery this dirty and grimy, there's always a little bit of uncertainty in whether it will come completely clean or not, but once again, the combination of Chemical Guys Lightning Fast, my Detail Geek drill brush, and the Bissell are able to work magic on it, aside from the couple of lingering spots that I will hit with the steamer later on. So if anyone out there is curious about this combo, I've got the link to it all down in the description for you, along with nearly every other product and tool that I use. Moving to the driver's side now, and I figured I'd mention again, just in case you haven't seen a video for a few weeks now, that you can now become a member of the channel, which if you decide to join, can get you exclusive access to the members only community tab, where I'll post sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff among other things, exclusive members only discount codes for merch and Detail Geek Auto Care, or even early access to new videos. So if that sounds intriguing to you, there should be a big join button right below this video you guys can check out. Here's the slurry of dirty and smelly water pulled out of this truck. Gross. Now turning my attention to all the dirty and grimy trim, and the steamer is going to be the best tool to use here, as it will allow me to do this far quicker than just using APC and a microfiber towel, but it also makes it easier to get down into the crevices in the cup holders and storage compartments, as when I take the brush attachment off, 
it delivers a much higher velocity blast of steam that can easily take care of any stuck on crud or grime. And once I'm done, I'll just simply wipe things down with a microfiber towel. Now for these disgusting cup holder inserts, the steamer is once again the best bet here as it can take care of this in under a minute and have it looking brand new again. All right, with everything clean now, I'll get some 303's aerospace protectant applied to all the interior trim with a microfiber applicator pad. And this is going to leave everything with a non-greasy and matte finish when it dries that truly just looks incredible. Moving back outside now and with a foam finishing pad on my polisher and the speed set to about 3 to 4, I'll get a thin and even layer of sealant applied to this black paint and even though most of the passenger side is going to be repainted in just a few weeks, I'm still applying it to the entire vehicle so that I can give this truck back to the owner looking as perfect as possible.
Second last step here is to apply 303 to all the black exterior plastic on the truck, which will leave it looking freshly detailed, but also give it some vital UV protection. Well, 14 very long hours later and the truck is looking absolutely incredible. And I have to say, as nice as it was getting to work on a truck for change, that was a lot of work. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Do me a favor and let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of the video was. And if exclusive sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff sounds interesting to you, well, consider becoming a member of the channel for all of that and more. And as always guys, enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one.